right now, ipilimumab is the only FDA-approved drug to have a demonstrable survival advantage for patients with advanced disease. Um, and so although we have uh, decarbazine, which is approved, and high-dose IL-2, which is approved, they don't have a survival advantage shown in randomized trials. So right now, um, ipilimumab is, is, is really the standard of care for the majority of patients with this disease. Now you have to be careful because this drug is not going to be effective in all patients, obviously, and because of the mechanism of effect and the kinetics, kinetics of response, which, is, uh, which can be slow in some cases, um, some patients with rapidly progressive disease or maybe a large bur burden of disease may not benefit from this drug. All of us are very interested in looking, to see the, uh, looking at the effects of ipilimumab in different genetic sub subgroups of melanoma, but right now the way the studies were conducted, um, they were open to all comers re regardless of mutational status in terms of BRAF or NRAS. So the second drug that's been shown to have a survival advantage now is vemurafenib, which is a small molecule inhibitor of BRAF. And this drug, uh, in a large phase three trial, has been shown to impact survival in patients whose tumors have a BRAF mutation. And we know that in patients whose tumors don't harbor a BRAF mutation, they won't benefit from this drug. So if and when this drug is approved by the FDA and available in the market, we will need to have some sort of commercially available test to, to assay patients' tumors for BRAF. More and more um, large cancer centers are developing uh, CLIA-approved uh, assays for uh, some of these key oncogenes, and um, <clears throat> as bemorafenib comes closer to market, the need for that assay is going to increase, and um, it's likely that uh, Roche will have a um, commercially available assay as well. We'll need to know the BRAF status to determine treatment. Um, and certainly, as we're developing more and more drugs that target specific genetic subgroups of melanoma, the panel of genes that we're going to need to look at will, will broaden over time. So for both of these agents, we can see tumor shrinkage in some patients, but really what we're looking for is prolongation of life. So in fact, even if we have prolonged disease stability, um, that can meaningly, meaningfully impact the overall survival or, or uh, progression-free survival for these patients. That's, that's an important endpoint. Um, and so on these studies, certainly we can look at different uh, markers of benefit. And one marker is, let's say, the improvement in the median overall survival. Um, but another way to look at it is to look at um, how the survival curves end up. What's the tail of the curve? Because a significant por proportion of patients will end up on that tail, and some of those may have um, benefit from treatment lasting years and years.